Greg? All right, gentlemen, thank you. The weather notwithstanding, looks like a terrific day on tap in Buffalo. Dolphins linebacker Brian Cox took the field in Buffalo a short while ago without incident. A marked contrast to last year when he reacted to the Buffalo crowd with obscene gestures for which the NFL fined him and he in turn sued the league. Jim Gray spoke with Cox, asking him what precipitated last year's behavior. The battery throwing uh, that some of the fans did, uh, the calls that I got in the hotel, um, the racist letters that I received the week of, uh, the, the, prior to the game. Um, when are you not to take these things serious? You know, that, with, with the Monica Sellers incident, with the guy coming into the ring and, uh, you know, in the, in the title fight with Riddick Bowen and Holyfield, when are you not to take these things serious? You're quoted as saying that the league cares more about its image than it does its players. Can you expand on that? Well, you know, for them right after the event or the uh, incident occurred, for them to come out and say, we've done a, uh, a thorough investigation on the incident and we're going to find him. They spoke with no one here. Uh, you know, Buffalo later admitted that they uh, didn't have sufficient uh, uh, security measures, uh, all these things, but yet uh, it was done to make me look like I was a lunatic or make me look like I was a bad guy. And that's something that I didn't appreciate, um, just the way that it was handled, the way that the drug situation was handled. Uh, you know, treat me as though I was somebody that was on drugs. I've never been on drugs. You started drinking after this incident? Yes, but, you know, that's a big misconception about this thing, too. I took the loser's way. I, I'm at fault for that. Uh, people try to uh, use that to say, uh, I'm using it as a cop-out. That's just not the case. You've never heard me say the league made me drink. I said that was something dumb that I did. Do you care about the fines? No. See, Do you so, care about the amount of the fines? No. So many people around this league can be controlled with money, but you can't co control Brian Cox with money. You have to find another vehicle to control me. Money is not some. I've been poor, you see. So I'm not afraid of going back to being poor. I have an education. I, I'll find a job to make sure that my family uh, is living good. Do you feel as though now you're a marked man by the NFL and that there's a little extra eye being placed on you all the time on the field? If they didn't get me last year, they'd never get me. They're not going to ever get opportunity again. Because when I leave here, as great as this organization has been to me, all the things that they've done for me, they've been by my side, they've done all these things. I really appreciate that. But when I leave this training camp and I go home, there's nothing important to me but my wife and my kids. So that's, that's the only opportunity they had to get me. They can't get me that way anymore. They just can't. God has his hand on me and I'm smiling. Brian Cox has some good things to say. There's some stand-up things, but Mike, what are we to make of a guy who is so talented, but but is obviously been prone to overreact at times? Well, he's young and rambunctious. There's no question about it. Nobody in the NFL is out to get Brian Cox. I think what Brian has to understand: don't fan the fire. Let his playing do his talking.